What is going everybody? Kyle Murray from Roto Grinders here bringing you a tutorial on the brand new revamped version of Plate IQ. Now, some of you may have recognized this tool for years past, which is a, a tool I've used for the past three or, few, three or four years pretty consistently every single day, every single MLB slate. But we have some new additions to the tool, and it's been a revamped kind of design of the tool. So for those of you that are new, welcome to Plate IQ, which I believe is one of the most powerful DFS tools in all of MLB DFS and sports betting. But for the record, uh, it's something that I use every single day, every single slate. So excited to bring you kind of a tutorial here, breaking down the tool, breaking down some of the new features and kind of talking about how I use it on a day to day basis. So before we get started into the screen share portion of the tutorial, real quick, Plate IQ is a matchup tool designed for MLB, DFS and sports betting, as well as pick them on sites like Price Picks and Underdog. But it's designed to be easily viewable and digestible with color coded context you know, batter versus pitchers, matchups for the day, which includes key stats, advanced stats, and most importantly, split stats uh, to help a DFS player or sports better understand exactly who's in the lineup and how that team is matching up uh, versus a pitcher or how the pitcher is matching up uh, against an opposing uh, offensive lineup here. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about Houston and Toronto here who play tonight. I know if you have used played IQ in the past, a lot of the stuff is probably easily kind of transferable in terms of the stuff that you're understanding and, and viewing. But there are some new things that we'll also talk about. But for those of you who are new to played IQ, we're going to start kind of from the the most basic level of the tool, right? And that's the kind of the front page. This is what you see when you first pull it up. You have the team on the left uh, with the offense and the opposing starting pitcher with a couple of adjustable filters and different tabs on the right. Now, let's start here with the left side, the Toronto Blue Jays and their offensive lineup. From an individual perspective here, it's going to pull up the projected lineup where you can also see if the lineup has been confirmed uh, up here by the team. There will be a green check mark if the lineup has been confirmed, but you can see the projected lineup currently and eventually the confirmed lineup and all of their stats and they'll automatically be pulled up for the split here, which is the the opposing handedness that they're going to be facing from the opposing starting pitcher. In this case, Framber Valdez on the hill for the Houston Astros. He's a left-handed pitcher, so the stats automate uh, automatically pull up against left-handed pitching in terms of uh, what we're going to be looking at uh, stats-wise for these Blue Jays hitters. Now, one through nine on this Blue Jays team, you can kind of see ground ball rate, fly ball rate, line drive rate, uh, hard contact rate, and very. These are actually the advanced stats. Now, the basic stats here, which uh, some of them, you know, they're basic, but isolated power, ISO, and WOBA weighted on base average. Those are pretty advanced stats, but they're key stats that you should be looking at every single day when determining some of the top bats of the day, kind of viewing how a lineup matches up against a pitcher and vice versa. Um, so these are very crucial stats. You also have strikeout rate, walk rate, and then projected fantasy points, which is new to the tool. Uh, previously, there were no projected stats, no Vegas odds, which we'll talk about that in a little bit, but that is a new feature to the plate IQ function. Now, let's talk about a little bit of the, the functionality of the tool. Up at the top left here, team batter stats, you have the projected runs on the left, 3.9. No surprise, you know, Fabio Valdez is a very good pitcher, uh, and Houston is favored here. You can see on the right side, minus 109, Houston is there. Um, on the left side, back to the left side, isolated power as a team, Woba as a team, strikeout rate, fantasy points, projected fantasy points from a team perspective. You, have, you also have the total hit projection and the total home run projection, only 0.84 home run projection, pretty low on the slate, but again, not a surprise considering how good Frember Valdez is at limiting power, and we're going to talk a little bit about how we can identify that. We also have some park factors for both left-handed and right-handed uh, hitters, and then the temperature, which is, you know, it can be very important. You know, we're in June, you know, next month, July, we'll be feeling all, all types of uh, different sort of climate uh, impacts in MLB DFS. But let's talk a little bit about the pitcher now. But first, kind of a, a, a segue into that is the, this pitch type drop down. So here you can view all of the pitch types that a, uh, a hitter might see and kind of view some of the matchup stats based on that pitcher. So for example, let's say your your offense that you're looking at is facing a pitcher who primarily throws the sinker. You know, a lot of times uh, we'll see guys who throw the sinker actually use that as an alternative pitch from the fastball. So they won't throw the fastball as much as other pitchers. And Fimber Valdez happens to be one of those guys. You can see in the usage column over here on the pitcher side that over the last 30 days, uh, he's throwing the sinker about 49% of the time. And over the last year, same sort of deal, 49% of the time he's throwing that sinker. So this is a great tool to utilize that instead of just seeing, oh, how do hitters do against just the standard fastball? 
a lot of times you're going to see, you know, a lot of differences, right? Because it's just a, a completely different pitch. So you can see Vladimir Guerrero, he stands out against the sinker 0.048 ISO against that sinker from lefties, but against the fastball 259. So he's not really going to see the fastball at all. It would be fairly surprising if he even sees a fastball tonight, which he has absolutely crushed uh, in the past two years. So he's going to see the sinker a lot. So that is a good indicator, just a good kind of showing of how good this tool can be, where you can really see uh, how different matchups can be within uh, a player uh, and a pitcher as well. So uh, a couple of other things to, to kind of look at from a pitcher standpoint is let's talk about this main dashboard here. Now, this dashboard is something that I live and die by every single day. It's it's almost certainly the first thing that I look at when I'm looking at pitcher matchups um, and, and, and hitting matchups as well. But basically in this dashboard, everything that you want to – kind of look at from a surface level is all here, right? You have strikeout percentage, you have walk percentage, isolated power, weighted on base average, ground ball percentage, fly ball percentage, line drive percentage, all of the, the contact type of stats that you're looking for in MLB DFS. It's all here. A couple of new things here. You do have pitch count average, which is you know brand new to plate IQ, which is very, very important. You can see how often they're allowing a, a pitcher to go deeper into games compared to others. Um, and down at the bottom here, CSW, that's new as well. That's a great addition to have. It's kind of an upgraded version of swinging strike rate. It gives you swinging strike plus whiff percentage, which is basically these two numbers combined. But CSW is going to be you know a very important number to have here. Uh, obviously, rounding it out, barrel percentage and BABIP as well. So all the stats that you could really want to view from a pitcher perspective, it's all here. All, all these numbers that you need is here on this dashboard. You can also compare them to different time, time frames as well. So uh, right here in this sort of section, you're seeing the current season. But on the right side, you can view last season. You can view current and last season. You can also look at last 30 days, um, which is also brand new to the plate IQ function, which this is probably how I'm going to use it the most is viewing how a pitcher is doing uh, in the current season compared to the last 30 days, because you can just kind of see some positive or negative trends here. So that, that's how I'm probably going to be using it uh, at this point in the year. You know, we're a couple months in already, but let's say at the beginning of the year, you know, you're looking at a very small sample with the current season. You can also look at last season and kind of get a more full sample there. So um, that's probably how I'm going to use this function, but strong addition here, uh, very, very important add there towards plate IQ. We already talked a little bit about the usage, but you know, there are a couple of things that you can also use this section for here. Um, obviously, you, you can see how often a pitcher is throwing what pitch. I think this will be best used to say, okay, um, this pitcher is throwing a sinker 49% of the time. How does the opposing lineup do against that pitch? You can see there are a couple of guys in this lineup that hit the sinker pretty well. Bichette hits it well. Chapman hits it well. Springer is okay with that pitch as well. Um, but, you know, for a, a pitcher who, you know, is not so good, let's say we're looking to target against a pitcher who throws a changeup 35% of the time, uh, maybe you can find a stack that hits the changeup extremely well uh, and vice versa. So that's how you can use these usage numbers to your advantage there. Velo, you can also see, um, and then CSW, Woba, ISO, you can kind of identify some of the pitches and the pitches, uh, pitcher's repertoire that, might be working out very well for him or, you know, might be struggling for him. So in this case, again, for Amber Valdez, one of the best pitchers in the American League, going to be tough to see a ton of flaws here. But when looking at his pitches, the, the cutter appears to be the pitch that he gives the most power up to, um, although the curveball is the one that he allows the most hard contact with. So you can find a couple of cool different uh, kind of quirks in, in pitch types and the pitch data here in the usage tab. Uh, and then lastly, on the pitcher side, we have game logs here. So you can look at every single game from the season here. You can break down how they've done from a pitch count perspective, velocity, CSW, percentage, hard contact, percentage, ground ball rate, earn runs, strikeouts, and then fantasy points on the far right. So that's kind of the, the best way to, to break it down there. Um, again, this is a, another new addition here. Previously, you had to go to another tab to view a game log. So again, it's just all about having everything in one place, being able to sort of cut down the, the amount of time that you're spending researching and therefore being able to use that time uh, building lineups and, and kind of getting all those bets in and all that stuff like that. So those are a couple of the kind of over overview points of plate IQ. You also have the team pitcher stats here, which is, you know, the, the player's projection, the odds, the, uh, the opposing team's total projected strikeouts combined with the, the K prop as well. This is another very awesome new addition. So you actually have our strikeout projection that is being directly 
compared to the strikeout prop. So if you're looking to, you know, find somewhere where you can quickly break down a pitcher's matchup and a pitcher's projection based on the Vegas line and find an over under prop here, this is basically the best place you can possibly go because you have everything that you you need. You want to see how often a uh, hitters are striking out against certain types of pitchers, lefties or righties. You can see that here. You want to see the, the strikeout projection compared to the prop. You can see that here. You want to see how many strikeouts they've been producing. You can see all that here. Now from this sort of uh, matchup, Houston versus Toronto, we can see Framer Valdez has been doing a great job of racking up strikeouts, uh, seven plus strikeouts in each of his last uh, six starts here. Um, five and a half strikeout prop but Toronto doesn't strike out a whole lot. So it kind of makes sense as to why that number is down a bit, but just a couple of ways that you can utilize this tool here. Now, uh, a couple other new things before we get out of here um, is the, the team view as well. So here you can, instead of running around looking at how teams match up, you have to go to you know each individual team's mat, uh, stats and all that stuff. You can view everything here. You can sort it by projected runs, projected isolated power from a team perspective, projected WOBA. You can look at the projected fantasy points from a, a, a combination standpoint as well. Hits projection, home run projection, park factors, temperature. I mean, if you're looking to to break down a, a slate from a stacking perspective, this is the best place to be right here. You can see everything that you need. You can filter any way possible as well. So any, any sort of thing that you're looking at in terms of getting a top stack or, or looking for your favorite stacks, you can find them here. Uh, and let's say, okay, we've identified that um, the San Francisco Giants are a top stack today. They, they're currently playing right now, and they're obviously in core, so they're going to be a top stack. But how can you break down which team or which players you want from within that stack? Well, you can quickly view how each player does within this lineup against a specific split in this case are facing chase anderson right-handed pitcher so we're looking at right-handed stats so you know jock peterson he stands out tyro estrada has a 363 woba 187 iso he actually did just hit a home run as well he stands out and he also had the third highest projection um lamont wade batting leadoff 205 iso 423 woba um potentially the best numbers on the on the team there because he's not striking out at all and he's also getting on base via the walk as well but again, to take it one step further, to be able to just dive deep very quickly, you can see, okay, Chase Anderson, he throws a cutter 22% of the time over the last 30 days and 21% of the time uh, over the last year. So we can look at how some of these guys match up against the cutter. Jack Peterson, J.D. Davis, Michael Conforto, these guys crush the cutter as well. So another very quick way to get some solid in-depth analysis from an MLB DFS and betting perspective that is extremely valuable. And again, it's just so it's so efficient because it's all right here. Everything that you need to see is all in one spot, all in one place. You don't need to be hopping around different sites. You can do everything in a quick and kind of concise manner there. So that's another uh, key benefit and, and sort of a new uh, addition to the, to the, uh, to the plate IQ feature. So uh, obviously the team leaderboard, the fact that, you know, projections, Vegas odds, weather park factors, all these things have been added you know, the game logs, the usage tab, all that stuff all in one spot. Um, and basically a, a few key benefits. It's organized, uh, you know, easy to get the data that is necessary to make all of your predictions and, and kind of all of your uh, recommended plays in one place. It's simple. It weeds out all the endless um, baseball stats, gets you all the key stats right at your fingertips, and it's fast, right? It's efficient. You can, you know, avoid using 13 different tabs or, you know, five different spreadsheets to get all the stats that you need. It's all in one place. So this is the new Plate IQ uh, here at Roto Grinders and Fantasy Labs, and obviously it's, a, it's an amazing tool. Again, I cannot recommend it enough. I've been using it over the past three or four years. Uh, the And obviously with it being a new and improved revamp tool, I'm excited to continue to use it and use it in its kind of full full manner now. So that's pretty much going to be it for the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Find us in Discord, find us on Twitter. Uh, but again, it's a very, uh, very powerful and efficient tool that we are very excited about here. And we cannot wait for you guys to be able to use it to, to help you build all your lineups and find all your favorite sports betting props and plays. But that's going to do it for us. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.